fluffy one. Next, as you can see, there is a hole in the sock. We put the needle and the thread and then afterwards pull the thread through and then wrap the thread around the needle in order to make this loop and then pull it through. Do this in an entire circular shape. Now after this, continue on and then begin to go backwards as such. Now go backwards in the loops that you've already created and then begin to thread it as such. Go in multiple rounds and multiple layers and then, as you can see it progressing, it will be shutting down the hole by itself. Now finally, once you have come to a very close point of it, once you are done with it all, you may make a knot at the bottom and there you go. Next, if you have these smaller holes on the sock, start off by pulling the thread through and then afterwards, make these lines, that is these stitchings on either side of it as such. It will almost be like a V-shape, however, as you reach the top, it will narrow up again. Now pull it tight and then you will not notice it. Now taking this earbud, Wrap the needle beside it and then slowly begin to loop the thread around it as such. Make multiple rounds out of it as such. Continue to do so and then go all the way to the top. Now as you are going to the top, this is what it should look like. Now as you continue to go, make sure that you reach the top of it and then afterwards remove the needle and you move the ear butt and then tie it close. Now you have made a circular shape to it and then afterwards add a pearl in the middle of it and stitch it up in its place. Now it will look like a flower decoration. Next, firstly start off by threading your needle and then after you do this, then slowly begin to put it on the collar portion of your sweater. Now, slowly begin to make these diagonal shapes to it. Make one up and one down as such. Continue to do so and make it as even as possible. As you can see, there is somewhat of a middle line that we are following. Now continue to do so and go all the way till the other side of the collar as such. Now, make sure that you are doing it as neatly as possible proceed with this make sure that you end on the same place that you started with on the other side finally once you are done you may tie a knot to it on the end but before you do so however draw it together and tighten it up and then adjust it in order to make it even this will give it a decorative look at the back tie a knot to it and then cut out the rest next cut off the excess portion of the sleeve or rather the elastic portion of it and then insert it into another sweater as such Afterwards, thread the needle and then slowly begin to pull it through. Now, make this horizontal stretch to it and then afterwards, loop the thread around it before you pull it all the way in. Now, pull the needle through the initial loop you have created and then wrap the thread around it at the top and then once more, make a loop. Continue to do this stitch all throughout. Now, as you progress with it, make sure you go an entire circle to it so that the elastic underneath it stays in its place. This could be like a decorative way of stitching and now open it all up, pull it tight and then afterwards, it will not be seen as well. Next, start off by taking this coin and then make all of these little dots around the hole that you have. Now, thread your needle and then begin with one of the dots and then slowly skip a dot and then move on to the next as you are stitching it. As you can see, we have numbered it. We went from 1 to 3, 3 to 5 and then so on. Now, continue to do so. The ones that are being missed out by the alternates will come in the next round when you do 2 to 4 and then 4 to 6 accordingly. As you progress with it, the central portion of it will get filled and so there will no longer be a hole in it. Once you're done with it, you may tie a knot to it and then there you have it. Thank you for watching.